Hello, I'm Vitaly Glebochkin speaking for Lex Sharonov and in this video tutorial I'll tell you about color correction using color checker in 3D LUT Creator. First, let's understand where the color problems come from and study some theory to understand how to solve these problems. Here is a picture of how the camera receives light and color. Light passes through the lens and gets into the filter. Once first filter cuts off the infrared light, the rest of the light incident on the buyer filter. This filter consists of red, green and blue color filters, each of which transmits only one color component. Thus, one pixel of camera sensor measures the intensity of red. The other pixel measures the intensity of the green, and the third measures the intensity of the blue. Then RAW converter processes the information by adding into each pixel the missing color from the neighboring pixels. For example, the red pixel information is added from the green and blue color pixels, which are located around it. This process is called debayering. But today we are interested not in the pixels, but the color that falls into them. The idea is very simple. The red filter passes through a red component only, the green filter green only, and the blue filter blue only. Ideally, what we would have here are the characteristics of these filters. In reality, the characteristics of these filters is much more complex, as we have seen a blue filter passes through the blue part of the spectrum well, but it doesn't fully block the green and red components. So if you shoot a green object in the blue channel, it will still get some information. Besides, camera makers in the pursuit of high ISO sensitivity gradually expand the area of the transmission filter. Thus, more light reaches the sensor and the relative noise level becomes smaller, but the selectivity of the filters decreases and we get more color noise. Let's imagine that we photograph perfectly the blue color, for example, the color of a blue LED or laser. Finally, after the matrix captures this information, the sensor can read the following values. The intensity in the blue channel is 84%, the intensity in the green channel is 12%, and the intensity in the red channel is 3%. That is, actually we shot the blue color, but it was measured to be darker and less saturated. In order to get the right color, we need to make some mathematical transformations. For example, we understand that the penetration of the blue color to the green channel is proportional to the fraction 1284, and we can just subtract the value of the green channel, thus achieving zero, and so on. These expressions are contingent, because they illustrate the hot takes only the blue color. And generally you need to use such a linear array. That is, in each channel of the resulting image the information is recorded from all three channels with different coefficients. Now let's see how information from the camera sensor looks like on a real photo. To do that I'll open 3D LUT Creator and open the settings. Here you can select the color space for RAW files import. If I choose RAW, the original information from the sensor will be loaded and color correction will not be applied. Let's upload a photo. As you can see, the colors on it are pretty strange. Even if I correct the white balance, the color of grass still doesn't look natural. All raw converters during converting raw files procedure apply a color matrix that converts the color obtained from the sensor to the actual colors of the selected color profile, in this case Pro Photo, but it can also be Adobe RGB or sRGB. I prepared a preset which does the color matrix. And this is how the matrix looks. It compensates for the camera filters and makes the color more natural. Compare without the matrix and with it. As you can see, the colors are much more natural. At this stage, problems with color usually don't arise, because the manufacturers know the sensor information. The transformation matrix is already built into cameras and raw converters, so the users simply load a picture and enjoy a good color. Problems with color reproduction begin when the spectrum of the light source becomes uneven. There is a characteristic called CRI, Color Rendering Index. Light sources with a smooth graph of the spectrum usually have high CRI. That is enough to enter the white balance correction and you get good colors. But there are also light sources with a low color rendering index, for example, a fluorescent lamp. 
Let's take a spectral characteristic of fluorescent lamp and impose it on our characteristic of the sensor sensitivity. We see that the basic energy of the light is at the intersection of two green and red filters. Another peak in the spectrum is at the intersection of the green and blue components. This leads to the fact that the information from the red color gets in the green channel, the green color gets in the red channel, and the same between blue and green channels. So the channel values are averaged, and this leads to the saturation decrease. Let's see how it looks in the photo. I will leave the correction matrix and upload a photograph taken in a pool of light. Now I will set the white balance and see what we've got. We have the correct correction matrix, correct white balance, so the gray color has no additional color. But other colors are greatly distorted. Now that we understand the course of this problem, let's get to the solution. Here we need to rearrange the matrix so that it takes into account the penetration of one color component to another. To build a color matrix, I'm going to use a color checker tool in 3D LUT Creator and a photo with the color checker in the same conditions. I select this tool and we have a grid here. You can choose color checker type, different companies produce different checkers. After that I must place the checker grid on the top of the checker, which we have in the picture. Let's zoom in. In the nodes of this grid we can see correct colors which should have color checker picture. These checkers are precisely produced and have very accurate colors. The information on what these colors should be often can be found on the manufacturer's website. 3 d LUT Creator already has built-in information for the most popular checkers. So after I placed the checker, I can see the average color deviation 19.6 and I can click the match button. After clicking this button, the program will build a color matrix to make colors that we have turned to photo as closely as possible to the colors that we have on checker specification. Here they see that the program has built this matrix. The average deviation became 8.6 that is more than 2 times better. And now look at the photo. We see that the colors are more natural. This doesn't eliminate the problem completely, because the light source has a very ragged spectrum, but nevertheless it is much closer to the colors we want. Let's try this on another picture. Now I change the color space of RAW files import to Pro Photo. Thus, the library Libro, which loads the RAW files, will itself apply the matrix corresponding to the cameras that take photos. I will reset all settings and turn on log C conversion as this raw file. There is no need to correct the white balance or exposure, simply place the checker grid on the top of the checker's picture and click match. the program will automatically construct a correction matrix. We don't see big changes, but they exist. That means for such shooting conditions, Libro default correction matrix does not accurately convey the colors as this matrix does. Here is before the matrix and after. Also, it will automatically set the exposure to match the checker desired exposure and white balance. As you can see, at these shooting conditions average delta E equals 2.39. This is a very good value, as the color difference threshold for a human on average is about 3. Now take a photo under worse shooting conditions. I also set checker grid on the top of the checker in the photo. Click match. As you can see, the correction matrix has serious changes, 
but the average delta E equals 4.29, which is also a very good result. Here are photos without the use of correction matrix and after. Now it is necessary to mention the conditions under which this correction matrix will work correctly. To bring physical meaning to all of these operations, it is necessary that the numbers to which the program operates are linear. In order to operate the linear color, there is a gamma parameter and the auto button. When the auto button is on, the gamma is automatically taken from the photo profile and the color value from any profile is converted to the linear to carry out the operation over the color, as you can see here. In what cases can we guarantee to have a linear color value? First, these raw files which are used in the examples are automatically converted to log C profile and it's further decoded into linear color. Second, video footage in any log profiles as indicated below. And third, Pictures can be developed in any other raw converters, but only if the raw converters don't add contrast or any other color decorations. Photos and videos taken without log profile often have the added contrast and saturation, and after this operation the color matrix will not be as effective. I will show in the next video how to work with such material. And now let's try to process the video captured on a Canon 5D Mark II with Cine style profile. I uploaded a video in Photoshop and now I only need a still image. I stopped at the scene where you can see the checker well. Go to 3D LUT Creator, make a new preset, and I'll take a still from Photoshop. In the log drop down list, I choose Cine Style Profile, since I shot the video with this profile. Overlay a grid on the checker. Press down match and get the value of delta E 6.8. Here is a frame with adjusted exposure. Now I can adjust the exposure as I need. Restore highlights a little bit and at this stage I can add contrast since the color matrix is already applied and true colors have been received. Now send LUT to Photoshop. And I have prepared the video with the color correction. Here is the before and after. As you can see, the Cine style profile can work with video like raw data. That is, I can change the white balance. Initially it was like this. And apply the color matrix. So this is how the video looks like with adjusted white balance but without the color matrix and with the color matrix. That's all for now, in the following video I'll show you how to adjust individual colors using color checker in order to achieve even greater color matching, as well as how to work with video which is not shoot with the log profile. Thanks for watching, goodbye.